Hello, I am back once again. Now, I'm not going to take up too much of your time, since I know you clicked on this video thinking, why shouldn't I buy more vehicles? Why should I not buy them? Well, I'll answer that question for you. It is the Gaijin birthday sale, and it's not really long until it comes along now. We've got less than a month, just maybe over a month even. But yeah, usually it happens around the 31st of October, 1st November time. Now, if you are new to the game, this means that because it's the anniversary of the company or whatever, all their vehicles go on sale at a discounted rate, usually 50% off. Uh, they've never changed it in the past, really. However, if you're someone like me, who's currently in the position where I'm pretty far down in the tech tree, for example, but the tanks are getting rather expensive now, uh, I would probably, at this point, I'm looking to just finish researching it, but not buy anything. I mean, if you've got plenty of time to grind out the trees, go for it and buy them. Yeah, that's fair enough. But if you are looking to save uh, some lines in the long run, probably best to hold off uh, once you've got these vehicles researched, for example, like I still need quite a few, so I've got plenty of time. But hopefully by the time I've got through rank six of Britain, I'll have pretty much most of the vehicles uh, ready to purchase for when the sale is on. Now, another opportunity for new players, which if we head on over to Gaijin's website, is they sometimes release event vehicles like they have in the past two years anyway. They release the TOG 2 and for the 10th anniversary they release the Sturm Tiger. Uh, these tanks are no longer obtainable but I mean there is a potential chance they could have them back since it's not impossible. Now I think the one that a lot of players are looking forward to is the return of the mouse. Now this is a fantastic tank if you are grinding the German tech tree. It is just a fun tank to use. Um, in an up tier can be sort of um, well. <laughs> You can get wrecked pretty easily, although I seem to have been enjoying it recently anyway. And bear in mind, when this does come out again, there are going to be many people. I'm pretty sure like most of the lobbies are just mouse tanks, so it's pretty fun just to drive around with your teammates. Uh, well, you can't even move that fast, so you're all clumped together anyway most of the time. But yeah, in that regard, it is pretty fun. Yeah, following the in-game sales, the Gaijin.net sales begin, so on their website. Uh, most of the vehicles are usually 50% off as well. They usually select which ones they want to choose. There might be some new ones this ra time around. Uh, any of the new ones, like the best sellers currently, uh, they probably won't go on sale, I don't think. However, packs that have been out for quite a while, potentially the Leopard 2A4M or the T80 UE1 might go on sale, although don't take my word for it. Uh, premium account also goes on sale as well. <laughs> now, they usually discount the 180 day premium account as well, which is really good if you are looking to renew your premium or if you are new, uh, pick up premium to make the grind a little more bearable since yeah, it is a struggle. <laughs> but I mean, I've only got 20 days of premium left on my account, so probably gonna wait until this goes on sale as well. But yeah, premium, premium time, premium account, Probably the most valuable use of your money if you are going to buy anything. Obviously, you don't have to. The game is free. However, as we all know, the struggle really begins when you get around tier 3 onwards in the game. <laughs> but no, I thought I would just make you aware of that. And that is about everything I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little video just to inform you. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.